Hi Cabbies, it's Miss Brooke again. This will be for the week of April 15th. Should be Bear Hug 24. So good to see you guys again. Talked to Cubby Bear the other day and he and Timothy were doing some fishing in the creek. Do you guys like to go fishing? Well, our um, we're gonna hear today about some fishermen from the Bible. And these fishermen were used to seeing lots of fish all the time, but one day they couldn't find any fish at all. And then they met Jesus and something really big happened. So Cubbies, in Luke 5, the Bible tells us that Jesus was standing by a lake teaching God's word to a crowd of people. They were probably very excited to hear what Jesus had to say because they kept getting closer and closer to him. They got so close to him that he decided to get in a boat, move out onto the lake, and teach the people from the boat. So Cubbies, that boat belonged to a fisherman named Peter. Peter and his fisherman friends had been fishing all night on the lake. Can you imagine staying up all night to fish? That's a long time. I think I would get sleepy. Well, even though the friends had fished all night, they didn't catch any fish. Not one. When daytime came, the fishermen pulled their two boats up to the shore and they washed their nets to put them away. Jesus finished teaching and he called to Peter, take your boat and go out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch. What? Peter was probably surprised to hear Jesus say that. Master, said Peter, we fished all night and didn't catch a thing, but I will obey what you say. So Peter and his friends climbed into the boat. They rowed out to deeper water and they dropped their nets into the sea. Then they felt a huge tug. They heard a loud rip. The nets were so full of fish that they started to break. Come help, they shouted to their friends in the other boat. So James and John rowed over to help. All the fishermen worked together to bring the fish from the nets and pull them into the boats. Soon the two boats were so full of fish that they almost sank. The fishermen were amazed at all the fish. They had just been fishing for hours and hours in that same lake, but hadn't caught anything. Now their boats were full of fish. Peter knew Jesus had to be a special person to help them catch so many fish. Peter what, fell down before Jesus and said, I am a sinner. Peter was a sinner, but Jesus was the Savior, the Son of God. Jesus said to Peter, don't be afraid. Now you will catch people instead of fish. Catch people? Cabbies, how do you catch people? Do you think you catch people with a fishing pole or pull them up in your net? Or do you have to run really fast to catch them? Cubbies, what Jesus meant was that Peter would tell people about the Lord Jesus, the Savior. The Savior is the one who can save them from their sin. God sent the Savior. Jesus asked Peter and his brother Andrew to help him tell the people. Then Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you, I will make you become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. Cubbies, have you heard Jesus' words before? There are memory verse for the week. Whenever I talk about the people Jesus asked to help him, repeat the verse with me, okay? So we'll say, follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. Jesus asked the other fishermen, James and John, to help him tell the people. So let's say it. Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. Peter, Andrew, James, and John left their fishing boats and their nets and they left everything to follow Jesus. After Peter, Andrew, James, and John, then Jesus asked Matthew and Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas Iscariot. He asked them to help tell the people. Let's say it again. Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. These 12 men were called disciples or apostles and they traveled everywhere with Jesus. Jesus asked many more men and women to help him too. Those men and women told people about the Savior, and those people told other people. Now, there are many followers of Jesus all over the world, people like you and like me. Jesus says the same words to us. Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. We can follow Jesus and be fishers of men. That means we tell others about the Lord Jesus, our Savior. Cubbies, I'm so glad I got to talk to you guys this week and uh, remember to say your memory verse to your parents and I'll see you next time. Bye.